What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. Switching it up, we're going with two of the Charizard tin. <laughs> For some reason, I got confused there. Tins instead of the ETB. Don't worry, we do have some more ETBs. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick change. I really like the Charizard promo, so. But uh, yeah, ETBs are still coming. In fact, I did a small restock recently. Boom. So. Doing those uh, legendary birds that promo definitely is top tier um, however I do have a bunch of these still so I do want to get opening back to these tins still a very good promo though with this sick looking Charizard it's a code card for that and uh, let me quickly get these two tins opened and then we'll open all eight packs together so as always guys, hope you everyone's having a good day. If you have yet to join the Discord, definitely do so. If you enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let's see. Shout out to Pokemon Lover95 who did set up the Discord and um, hope everything's going well and hope to see you back soon. So shout outs to you. Here is the second code card. Packs out. All right. So, just gonna grab a couple sleeves for these Charizards, and then we'll get into this opening. We have eight more cracks at the real Charizard, the real prize. I think uh, tomorrow we should have a very exciting mail day. I was hoping to do it today, to be honest, but seems that the mail person was had trouble getting into where the mail goes, although I don't really understand how that's possible. It's shipped via USPS, so they should have access to the mailbox, because that's how all my mail gets in there. But hopefully we'll have that for you guys tomorrow, so stay tuned for a sick mail day, hopefully tomorrow. And let's get into our first pack. These cards are, I feel like they're a little curved. Must mean a hollow. We got a Lightning Energy, Sabrina, Charmeleon, Chansey, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Kangaskhan is our rare, and then a Reverse Geodude, so nothing there. And also, actually, tomorrow we should also be getting, we will soon be getting a Nintendo Switch, and gonna work on setting up a streaming environment. Don't have any games though. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, let me know in a comment down below. To be honest, I just want to make sure things are set for when Sword and Shield comes out. Still haven't decided which one I'm going to pick up. I feel like I want to go Snorlax, go uh, Sword, but um, ooh, Frogadier for our first shiny. Solid pickup right there. Yeah, I was thinking about going Sword because the Shield. Pokemon looks uh, very ridiculous in my opinion, but and then on Reddit there was like someone posted a comment like or a um, post said basically I'm like one of the five people that actually want Shield, and then it occurred to me like, oh man, that's definitely going to be the case. And would I rather be part of the, you know, the minority, especially if there's uh, the stuff that you can only get from Shield, then you know maybe it's like a commodity at that point. So well, there's a little bit of stuff to think on, but my instant reaction was all oh, sword for sure. All right, we got Magikarp, Pikachu, Brock's training. Not getting anything in the rare slot, but we are getting shinies in the reverse. And this is one that I really wanted in my collection. So very happy to pull it. Scizor, um, Scyther was like one of the coolest in the uh, Gen 1. And then it's like, all right, he's going metal, which is like, oh my gosh, this thing's gonna be amazing. Do you know, so I'm not crazy about his crap, like his lobster claws, but uh, still a very cool Pokemon. Let's see, this Pokemon's remaining HP is 100 or less. Attacks do 80 more damage. It's not bad. Seal wing 80. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Scizor, Scyther, both super cool. And. Uh, so like the Scyther shiny, I think it's just like a lighter green and that's always disappointing. But then the Scizor does make up for it. A 
lot like kind of like a light green metal bug is really cool so very solid pickup right there and uh, yeah we're, now the now we get shiny GX's at a regular clip <laughs> so for some reason we just had a very very hard time figuring out how to pull shinies in the beginning of hidden fates Again, not that we're having bad pulls, we are doing very good on the gold rare front. Alright, we got Onyx GX. I think we only have one of these. And I'm okay with that. But uh, hey, we'll take a GX any day. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for those cards that came from... So like, they kind of came from, in the Japanese sets, they were like this family box thing. And then these kind of like one-off gym boxes for Misty and Brock. Because they're pretty cool cards. Yeah, they're kind of vanilla, vanilla, but um, you know, they're cool nonetheless. And then to slap them into Hidden Fates, like, I guess it almost feels like fodder for the set. Because, like, oh, Onyx GX, sure, why not? Uh, but, you know, obviously everyone is looking for those shinies, so I feel like it's just completely overshadowed. We got a Clee Fable on this pack and a Nurse Joy. Alright, three packs remaining. Oh, I feel like it's going super fast. The difference between <laughs> 8 and 10. I feel like we're just zooming through this opening. So yeah, sorry, we took a bit of a hiatus from doing things like news. I still need to get back into PTCGO. Uh, started to... And Pokemon Masters, haven't done any content for that. I was kind of waiting for a good banner, and I think this one that's um, the Tepig one is the one I'm going to pull on. So that fight video uh, either already dropped or is going to drop later today. And then a Gibble, all right. Very successful opening. That is our fourth hit. And when there's only eight packs, you know, that's a win. None of those hits are reverse energies. Very solid opening today. And these amazing Charizard promos. I mean, if we were to pull that shiny Charizard, though, there might be a significant... Uh, slow down in the Hidden Fates content. This set is super expensive. Like when people will race to pay that $5 per pack price. Man, that's crazy. Vaporeon. What is a Hidden Fates opening without a hollow Vaporeon? There's always at least one. And then, oh my, look at this. This is another sick shiny GX. Oh my gosh, two shiny GXs in one opening out of eight packs and that is a really cool shiny i feel like i don't give dark rye enough credit but this like purple version love it i don't think the card was that good though restoration once during your turn if your pokemon hmm actually that's not bad and then dark cleave 130 eh. i guess it's no no it's not that good <laughs> But that art is amazing, and wow, what an amazing opening. Two shiny GXs that are not dupes. This is a win in every aspect. Uh, we recently did a pack battle with Tim the Pokemon Collector. That video dropped yesterday. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We lost. <laughs> Spoilers. But a very solid opening on both ends. So if you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out, guys. All right, for our last pack in this amazing opening, we have a Jinx Misty. I don't think we got a Shiny. I happened to see that reverse. But maybe we do have something in that rare slot. Still looking for some Rainbow Birds. We have a Mew. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, we got a couple Mews. So out of a eight-pack opening from two Charizard tins, Woo, this was a good one. Alright, order matters here. Alright, we have Onyx GX. Whatever. 
Frogadier, very cool shiny right there. Gibble, very cute. Boom, look at this purple ghost. Dark Rock, is it ghost? It must be a ghost, right? Dark type. And then Scizor GX, definitely one I want for my collection. Very happy to have pulled that, but yeah. Thanks for watching as always guys. Do me a favor, uh, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Join the Discord. I'm a wanted turtle and I'll follow and I'll catch you guys next time.